Why is a witch's tit cold? I've never understood that either. My relationship with each one of these cars, it sounds, that sounds creepy. First car I ever owned was a, a Baja bug. I built in a Baja shop in uh, Michigan. That was in, in lieu of my pay. Monk's Motors, and he's still there. But that was a terrible car, because there's no heat. Anybody knows VWs in the winter in Michigan, a terrible car. My childhood dream car, to be honest with you, would be a tank. I still wanted, that's all I've ever wanted to drive is a, a tank. And generally, unfortunately, as German tanks had a better style to them. The guys that helped me build stuff said, they just refused to do it. I was gonna buy a British tank. Everybody, even the police in the local area says, we're not gonna let you drive around here in a tank. It, it makes it, it's unsettling to have a tank running around, especially with my head and the helmet, you know, sh shrieking things in German. I'm currently driving a GTR, and I'm just gonna leave it at that, and it's literally one of the most curiously intoxicating automobiles I've driven, and I drove it as a test, end up buying the test mule, and I really, really like it. I'm just saying GTR, because if I give away the brand, you're gonna go, what? All the other cars are now, they're crying, literally. My wife, she likes this Nova, this badass Nova, and she calls it, my wife actually says this, boy, that's really a guy magnet. Is that something you want to tell your husband? Yeah, guys are really hitting on me all day. Well, maybe you shouldn't drive it without your top on. Why, why do I need to hear this? If I drove the Carrera GT, it looks like money. And I think sometimes women respond more to, boy, that dude's probably got a lot of dough. You know, but like I said, I, I, I drive around naked because that's the relationship I have with my automobile, so. I could have had a short wheelbase 250 Ferrari a long time ago, and I bought a 330 GTC, if you know all these. I, I like the GTC because the character in Grand Prix that played uh, Mr. Ferrari drove it up to the pits. Always wanted that car, and I ended up getting it. It's right over there. But the 250 short wheelbase Ferrari, I could have had at bargain prices, but the one that you just can't get is the GTOs, the 64, 63 GTOs. They're just absurd, like 20, 30 million dollars. I don't care how much money you make, you're not likely to drive that ever. So what I'm thinking is um, just stealing one. To see more episodes of Car Collectors, subscribe to GQ.com.